Victor here uh, from RestoreMercedes.com and uh, here I have my uh, 2000 S430 W20 chassis. It's night time, almost night time. I just went to check up on the computer. Basically the problem here was that the leaves clogged up the drain hole. Water entered inside the computer bay. It entered main computer, it entered com transmission computer and um, pretty much damaged both of them. Now the main computer I had to um, spray it pretty vigorously with contact cleaner and it started to work, thank God, because it's coated to the car and many issues if you were to replace it you have to get it either a new one, code it, uh, complications. Um, and second thing the car would still still wouldn't start so I had to fix the transmission computer and this is what I, I show you how I just tested it and it does work fine um, give me a second here I'm just gonna take this apart if I'm not gonna make this video in these conditions I will not make it after all so but this information might help someone so let me set my phone down Because once I seal this computer, I'm not going to go to visit it. And, but this is valuable information, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Here we have the internals of transmission computer. Okay. Now, basically, there was traces of water here, there, under this, this chip. I had to take this chip off, up, uh, take it off and clean underneath it was sort of green car still won't start, no communication with the module and then I clean everything around, I resoldered basically each and every point still no go and then after that I went to check up on voltages which I should have done in the first place but I hope that it's just clean would help But and this is what I found out on this chip right here, voltage comes here on uh, I love uh, 12 volts here it comes out as 5 volts so this one was good but this is the main power chip right here this feeds power to complete computer basically to processor to all the other chips so now this one right here actually burnt out oh well, now I have low battery alright great I'll give you so now this chip is a power is a voltage regulator kind of so what it does is I'm gonna try to make a video here okay this pin right here the first pin is power 12 volts this one I believe gives out 10 this one should give out 5 this is ground this should give out 3 I believe this is another ground and this one gives out 5 5 volts on this one ground on this one 3 volts on this one ground on this one, 5 volts on this one, uh, 10 volts on this one, 12 volts on this one. My chip was burnt out whereas that I would have 12 volts coming in, 10 volts come out, 0.8 volts on one, ground, obviously ground, nothing on this one, and 0.8 volts on that one, so the chip was burnt out. I did have another burnt computer from C280, which I actually sourced this chip from. I took this piece out and uh, from C280, which I did test, and it tested out good, but uh, the main board was burnt out, so I couldn't really salvage that computer, so I had to buy it. But this computer was more expensive, so I figured, let me tackle with it. So um, during the process, the way to, to remove this chip kind of tricky because the bottom portion of the chip is soldered to the board, and um, underneath it's actually soldered. No, hurricane didn't come yet. All right, right over here. This is where it's soldered. So you have to actually heat up this area a lot, all around here. Once you heat it up, then uh, you'll be fine, and the chip will actually come out. It's gonna unsolder. Over there. So 
chip will solder from underneath and basically fall out. It's a good idea to try to remove as much of the solder from here with a braided, with a braided, um, braided line, and like the solder, the solder line, because that will aid. Because when I did it, well, I was kind of upset and I just kind of like yanked out it a little bit too much and I broke a couple of lines here, as you can see. But I soldered them back together, so they work just fine now still. No problem there. Also, obviously, a good cleanup of this computer is a good thing. And uh, I basically had no communication. Airmatic didn't work because of that. Park, drive, neutral indicator was not lit on the dash. Car would not start, believe it or not because it doesn't know which gear it is, so I had to actually had to jump that relay. I opened it up because I used to jump it. As you can see, the case is open right there. Um, once I cleaned the module, I put it back in, I would jump the car with this relay, and the car would start, but it would uh, obviously not shift correctly. It would not shift. Well, I didn't drive it, really. I just put it in drive, but it, uh, it was just all jerking into gear and uh, it was violent engagement and uh, check engine light was there no communication between modules so this module was burnt out as a matter of fact I did order one and I guess I'm going to same one that what is this module number here's my module number Supp supposedly this one is a popular module and very few out there so I I bought one, it's in the mail right now as we speak, but I figured I'll try this one on. Um, I'll try to combine a couple of videos here together and uh, show you that when I put this module back, how car runs after all. There's still quite a few things to do with it, like pulley, this, that, I mean, you know, some maintains, but overall, I hope this information is going to help someone. The chip uh, number... I don't know if I can get that number. I think it's like four. Let me see if I go close up. No. This is my cell phone, so. Man, I forgot the number. 4276D or something like that. I mean, as you can see, there's lots of flux on mine. Let me try to read it. Mine, I like one more. Uh, no, this one. Oh, actually, yeah, this is off the C280. I'm sorry, there was no marking on it. But on the old one, I think it was 4276. How oh, can I see that? Well, 4276G, I believe. It's a voltage regulator. I'll put it in my description on the video there, so you know. Um, and, I, you know, I flux this board a lot. I mean, I put flux all over it. And then with the heat gun, I just heated it up just to see maybe I'll get one of those solder points to, um, to resolder themselves. It was kind of like a last resort, and I had nothing to lose, so I just figured I'll do it. Not really recommended, as you can burn the board, but I did it on, like, I did it right. I mean, I didn't go crazy on it. So it's all fluxed up right now, which is there's nothing wrong with it, as you can see, it all shines. But I guess it will sort of protect terminals a little bit at this point now um, oh yeah I did it I did bench test it to check the voltages so this is what you do this is the other side of the board on this one this pin right here okay this one this is power plus 12 volts you can, can add uh, you can get 12 volts to this chip with your um, power supply to test it on the bench this is the ground one Okay, if you look at the connector, see where this this is this is the this is high low um, data communication bus. So here is here is the ground. This is 12 volts. I just connected power to this to these terminals, and then I tested voltages. Ground on one, uh, negative lead is on ground, and then positive leads on the um, on the chip so check this chip check this one right here this one should give out 5 volts as well uh, there is number on it I cannot read it but this one was fine on my car 
Alright, well, um, I guess more information from for W220 chassis will come soon. I'll be working on this car and um, keep you guys posted, I guess, whatever interesting I find. Um, Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com can find some W140 information there.